quick video here to compare the five-year cost of ownership of the Tesla Model Y, the Volkswagen ID4, the Ford Mach-E, and some of their gas competitors such as the Toyota Highlander, the Nissan Rogue, and the Ford Edge. So let's dive into the numbers. Before we get started, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. This spreadsheet is available via Google Docs on my website at berichsolution.com. Highlighted on this line is the U.S. base price MSRP for each vehicle with the least expensive trim line that offers all-wheel drive. On this line is the average electrical or fuel cost. The average electrical cost in the United States is 14 cents per kilowatt hour and the average price of gas over the last five years is $2.54. This line shows the cost to operate per mile, with the Tesla at the lowest about three cents per mile, the Volkswagen ID4 and the Ford Mach-E are about five cents, and the gas counterparts are around 10 cents per mile. This line represents the five-year total cost of fuel for each one of these vehicles. As you notice, the gas vehicles are about three times the cost of the electric vehicles. These two lines represent the cost of service and the cost of tires of each vehicle over 60,000 miles. Please note that the electric vehicles typically consume an extra set of tires compared to their gas counterparts. This line represents the subtotal cost of each one of these vehicles over a five year period. Please note that the Ford Mach-E and the Volkswagen ID4 are eligible for that $7,500 federal tax credit. This line represents the estimated trade-in value after five years. Since the Tesla Model Y hasn't been around for five years, I use the depreciation percentage from the Model X that has been around for five years and applied it to the other electric vehicles. As for the gas counterparts, I went to the open market and sourced those numbers. This line represents the total cost of ownership over five years there's two things that stand out to me besides that the electric vehicles compared to their gas counterparts are significantly cheaper. The first is that the Ford Mach-E and the Volkswagen ID4 are the least expensive options over a five year period if you're eligible for the $7,500 tax rebate. The second thing I noticed is the long range or larger battery pack offered by electric vehicles is not worth the extra $70 a month unless you have a very specific need to get that little bit extra range. I encourage you to go on my website, download this spreadsheet and run the numbers for yourself. So please like this video and subscribe to my channel.